it has been a minute since I have made a video. My goal was to get two videos out per week and I have basically slacked off. I will just say that that's pretty much what has happened. Um, but anyway, in today's video I wanted to talk about this palette. This is not the Kylie Bronze palette. This palette suspiciously looks like the Kylie Cosmetics palettes and this is not. This one is by a brand called Academy of Color. I found this palette at Kohl's and when I saw it I immediately thought about the bronze palette by Kylie Cosmetics because of the color scheme inside of this palette. Beautiful shades, neutral shades. This palette was only $10. Can you believe that? $10 for nine shadows. That's a pretty good deal. So I wanted to come, I wanted to test this palette out and see if the quality was there, if it was worth um, you taking a look at it, going into Kohl's and seeing if you can find it. I did purchase the Kylie Cosmetics palette because I wanted to compare the two for you. And this is what the palette, the Kylie Cosmetics palette looks like on the inside. And here is the Academy of Color. As you can see, Academy of Color is um, a bigger palette. Um, however, as far as the contents, the Academy of Color has 0.03 ounces of product and the Kylie Cosmetics has 0.05 ounces. So although the packaging is bigger, you are getting more um, product in this Kylie Cosmetics palette. As you can see, the color scheme is very similar. They have very similar tones. Not all of them are exactly the same and they are not lined up. Um, exactly the same. Most of the shades like the black and the dark brown and then in the top you have the light vanilla and the pink champagne tone. Um, those are pretty much really really similar if not identical. And then you have um, in the Academy of Color you have more shimmers than you do mattes whereas in the Kylie you have more mattes than you do shimmers. I personally just looking at the color scheme in the two prefer the Academy of Color color scheme because I do prefer the shimmers. If you can tell, there is a shade in here that is like a golden green color that I think is such a pretty color and probably for that shade alone, that's what my decision is based off of. Um, but I do want to compare the two and see what the quality is like. I do have these shadows on on my eyes right now, um, if you can tell which one is which. Probably not because like I said, they are very similar. I only found that in application there was one shade that was not exactly the same or didn't look very close and you'll see that in the video. But um, if you want to know if these two palettes are a dupe for each other and which one in my opinion is worth the investment, then just keep on watching. So I figured I'd throw in a mini review on the um, Kylie Matte Liquid Lipsticks and Lip Liner. This is the first time that I try one of her lip kits. I do really like um, liquid lipsticks. It's one of my favorite kinds of lip products to wear. I usually I um, steer clear from like, well I've chosen to steer clear from her brand for a while and was hesitant to purchase them because I just read a lot of reviews that said that they were really drying and they were made from the same manufacturer as ColourPop Cosmetics and those liquid lipsticks tend to be very drying in my opinion. I have been able to work with them in the past by using some vitamin E oil prior to application but it's kind of high maintenance I'd rather not have to do that I'd rather just have a liquid lipstick um, that works for me and so I went ahead and we were having like a sale it was like buy one product and um, get another one free I think it was one of the lip kits that they were offering or a few of the lip kits they were offering for free so I went ahead and took advantage at that time since technically I wouldn't be paying for it so I'm going to go ahead and try this on camera and wear it throughout the comparison of these two eyeshadow palettes um, and then I'll let you guys know at the end of the video how I feel as far as how these perform, the comfort, you know, are they cracking, are they drying, things like that. So I'm going to go ahead and apply the, um, lips, the lip liner that comes with it. I am using the shade Dolce K. I figured it would be complimentary to the shadows that I'm going to be using anyway. So. Here we go. The lip liner so far is really creamy. It applies very um, easy and um, I find that it's very comparable to the ColourPop lip liners. Um, I do have a few of them and it seems to be gliding on just as um, those do. So that's what the lip liner there looks by itself. I really like how the liner itself looks. It almost feels like a regular lipstick. It applied smoothly, um, there was no tugging, and it still looks incredibly matte. 
and um, so far it feels very comfortable so that's the lip liner and to be honest I don't understand the idea of the lip kit I mean normally with liquid lipsticks you don't really need a lip liner and sometimes I use them with bolder colors because they serve as a really good guide when applying your liquid lipsticks but as far as really needing to shape out or anything like that with a liner you don't really need to because I find that the liquid liners are really are, I'm sorry the liquid lipsticks are really good at staying in place and they don't tend to bleed or feather or anything like that so I find it kind of pointless to have these two together the liner and the liquid lipstick but I kind of do like that there that you do have the option of getting the both because if this for example doesn't work out for me at least the lip liner is something that I can um, continue continue to use. So here goes the lipstick. It smells like vanilla. The color matches the lip liner. There's not much of a difference. So that is what the color there looks like. Pretty much matches what the tube color looks like. I anticipate that these are going to dry a little bit deeper as most liquid lipsticks do. It was very easy to apply. I can already feel it setting. It does feel like it's kind of tightening up on the lips, but so far, so good. We'll let it sit for a while and I'll let you guys know my final thoughts at the end of the video. These are the two palettes that I'm going to be comparing today. This definitely looks very much inspired by the Kylie Bronze palette. So I will do one side with the um, Academy of Color palette and then the other side with the Kylie Cosmetics eyeshadow palette. I'm not going to do anything different that I wouldn't normally do and usually I do prime my eyes for any kind of eyeshadow. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, usually I apply the this NARS primer. I find that it helps Make sure that the shadows don't crease or my, when my lids um, get super oily, it keeps the shadows in place and prolongs the wear. So I set that down first and then I'm going to follow that with MAC Painterly Paint Pot. So both the palettes do have a matte shadow. I'm going to go in on this side with the Kylie um, palette, this light vanilla color. And now on the other side, I'm going to take the color Cave, which is also a matte vanilla shade. Um, right away, I can tell that the Kylie palette has a lot more pigment in it. It came off more white, and this one's a little bit more sheer. But personally, I prefer that. I don't like a very intense brow bone. So now let's go into a blending shade. I am going to take this matte shade here, which I believe is called Goldstone. So I'm going to take that and put it into the crease. That is very pigmented. And it blends out very, very nicely. And I really like the tone of this shade. It comes off a little bit warmer. Uh, once you start blending it, then it looks in the actual pan. It just blends out so easily. I really like that shape. I'm going to go ahead and wipe the brush off. And then I'm going to go into... The most comparable shade in this palette would be Flame which is that center shade right there. I'm going to take that to this side. I'm trying to build up the shade, but I mean, to me, they look the same on the eyes. And this also blends out very, very nicely. I don't know, what do you guys think? To me, they look pretty much the same. I can't really tell a difference. So, so far those two colors seem to be comparable to me. I'm going to go ahead and deepen the crease um, with another shade in the palette. So I'm going to take the shade Jasper, which is this shade here. It's a little bit deeper and I'm going to deepen up the 
the crease. So I'm going to go ahead and wipe off the brush. And the color that seems closest to that is the shade Cookie. And this palette, here's the color. Go ahead and take a little bit of that. It's more powdery. And this shade looks like it carries a little more pigment than the Kylie one. I don't know. In my opinion, you can't really see the difference once you blend it completely out. So let's try a shimmery shade and see how those perform. There are two shades that seem very similar in here. There's a champagne shade and then there is a bronzier type of shade. The bronzes I can already tell don't match each other. One bronze is deeper than the other in each palette so I'm a little afraid to use those two to compare. I'm going to go ahead and try the champagne shades because those are very similar to each other. Stay up. The champagne shades seem to be a lot more similar to each other, so I think that's what I'm gonna go with and see the different pigmentation on there. Champagne color. And that is extremely pigmented and very reflective. Very pretty. Wipe off the brush, and now I'm gonna go into the Academy of Color and into that pink. And it's, it's it looks a little more frosty in person compared to the Kylie Champagne shade, but it's still very shimmery. But those two definitely have two different tones. This one's more warm, and this one's more pink. So this side looks a bit more brighter and it's because it's a more pink and this one's a little bit more golden and warm um, but still like a pink champagne shade. Um, so those definitely to me look different. I don't think that they look too too different to where they're not comparable. I would still say that they're comparable. So now let's, let's go into the deeper colors. I'm going to dip into the dark brown here in the middle and create a faux um, wing liner. So I'm going to push that close to my lash line. And the Kylie Brown does have really good pigment into it. It's definitely darkening up my lash line. So as you can see, this definitely looks darker than this side. Um, has really good pigment into it. And it's very easy to use. Now I'm going to extend it. And wipe off the brush. And now I'm going to go into the dark brown in this palette and see if it compares in pigment. So I can tell you right now off the bat that the pigment is there, but because this palette is a little more powdery, it um, is making the um, smokiness of this side a little bit thicker than on this side. The shadow on the Kylie Brown shadow, because it's not so powdery, where I placed it is where it stayed. This one seems to uh, be kind of feathering out because it's a little bit more powdery. So something to keep in mind. And so I guess it really just depends. Um, this could actually be a good thing if you're trying to smoke out your lash line and you want it to be very fast and easy. That a looser powder can help you do that. But if you're really trying to stay tight within a specific area and be precise, then you want a powder that isn't so powdery. But the pigment is also there. So those are the two eyes right there. I would say so far it's both palettes are pretty comparable. 
I'm going to go into the black now, into the Kylie palette, and, and press that a little closer to my lash line just to make the outer part of my eye um, a little bit more bolder. And that is really, really dark. I am impressed. That is really good pigment on that black. So now I'm going to take a little bit of the black in this palette and see if it compares. It's still pretty pigmented. I'm going to take a little bit of the brown and just tightly put it into the crease. So this is the brown from the Kylie palette. I'm just going to take just a little bit. And then a little bit of the brown from the Academy palette. I'm going to go back with the matte white shadow and clean up the brow bone. I'm going to go ahead and do mascara off camera and then I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I am back with my final thoughts on these two palettes. Personally, if you want to invest in a palette, I would say that this, as far as it being user friendly and having more control of shadows, this is a good palette. But it is in the $40 price range. This, in my opinion, if you have skill or if you have patience to be able to work with a little bit more of powdery shadows, I think they perform just as well as this palette. I don't really see a need to spend a lot more money. If you have skill, you have an ability, you can control your brushes, and you don't mind a little bit of fallout, I would say go for this palette. In my opinion, they're a little bit more, um, they are comparable. You're going to be able to create basically the exact same looks. Personally, I prefer the colors that are in this palette versus in this palette. You get more mattes in this shade in this palette and you get more shimmers in this one. And I really like the shimmers, the additional shimmers that are in this palette. They are neutral toned um, shimmers, but they're very pretty colors in comparison to this one. I do like both of them, but honestly, I would say save your money. You can find this palette at Kohl's. This was only $10 and usually they have coupons and discounts and things like that. So you can get a really good deal off of this palette. I do think that this is worth it. It's a really good palette. I do like the colors that are in here. I will continue to use this palette. As far as the liquid lipstick, I'm actually surprised because the drying sensation has pretty much faded away. I almost don't even feel that I have it on. What I can say is, is that the formula is a little thicker, so I already know with time the way that it's going to wear is it's going to start like crumbling off as most thicker kind of liquid lipsticks do usually do that. The color is beautiful and I wish that she would change the formula on these liquid lipsticks and find something that's a little bit more comfortable because I really do like pretty much all of the shades that she's come out with. I just feel like it would be a waste of money to buy them knowing that I don't think that they're the best quality of um, liquid lipstick. I do have a lot more liquid lipsticks and in my opinion the quality and the, just the comfort is a lot better for the price that you pay not to mention that it is a lesser price point. But the colors, I do give her that. I feel like she has a really good idea as to what the really classic colors are and she comes out with really nice shades. I just wish the formula was a little bit better. So that's my thoughts on the liquid lipstick. Like I said, it doesn't feel drying right now. It feels comfortable, which I'm surprised because a ColourPop um, liquid lipstick did shrivel up my lips if I didn't have anything underneath. And this one does not feel really tight. It doesn't feel super dry. It's just a thicker formula that I can tell over time. It's not going to wear gracefully. But, I mean, I did get this for free, so I'm not going to complain. Those are my thoughts on the Kylie Cosmetics products that I have tried in this um, video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments for me, leave them down below. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!